The store that you see behind me is still open at this hour, but it may not be for much longer because according to Reuters, right now in a courtroom in New York, advisors for Sears are asking a bankruptcy judge there to allow them to liquidate the assets of the more than 125-year-old company. That means this store where one hour ago customers were lined up waiting for the doors to open could soon be forced to close possibly within weeks. And analysts say 400 other stores just like it across the country could suffer the same fate. That would cost 68,000 current Sears employees their jobs. Now at its height, the department store chain had more than 3,500 stores and hundreds of thousands of employees. The possibility of a shutdown comes after company officials rejected a $4.4 billion bid to bring the company out of bankruptcy by hedge fund billionaire and chairman Eddie Lampert. What is clear this morning is that many people will be sad to see the Hoffman Estates based retailer go if it does. I hope they would keep it open because Sears is a good store. I've been shopping at Sears for about 45 years, and the products are good. I have a refrigerator at my house. I bought from them 22 years ago, and it's still working. Well, it's sad because it's a good store. They have good um, appliances, which I always buy here, and I'm sad because I don't like to see people without a job. And it's not just Sears. Sears Holdings, of course, owns Kmart, so both venerable American retail names could be history if an 11th hour bidder does not come forward. Now, we reached out to Sears Holdings this morning and have yet to hear back. We'll let you know if we do. Reporting live at North Riverside Mall, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News.